The majority of the new casters that we source for Glengoin have come from Spain, and we're involved in that from the very start. We're literally going over there, we're pointing at trees. The trees are felled in northern Spain. They're cut into staves, which dry in the sun for, for over two years. You could bake them in an oven, but it's not the, the Glengoin way. And we take these staves down to Jerez in southern Spain, where they're made into casks. They're given to a sherry bodegas. We instruct them which sherry to put into them, which in our case is always a, a dry Oloroso sherry. The sherry will stay in there for about 28 months. The sherry is then emptied from the casks. The casks are broken down, sent over by ship, reassembled by our coopers. And nearly six years after we first commissioned that cask, we get to fill it with Glengoyne. It's our master blender's challenge to create a consistent nose, flavour and importantly, natural colour. Our whisky needs to taste the same year in, year out, so that for example the 10 year old must always taste like 10 year old. It's one of the most challenging but vital roles in the whole industry and we'd say a good master blender is definitely worth his weight in gold. For us the, the, the story of maturation is, is vitally, vitally important and it's how we use those sherry casts and how we mix them together with the older casts that define the true flavour of Glengoyne.